could do just in the meantime is we could simd a little bit of this, like our v2, our pixel p and so on. We could do that in preparation. <clears throat> I don't really know that we even want to do that. I have to think about that a little bit more, but we could do it now since we've got five minutes left and we're, we're sort of um, on a bit of a vendor here. Uh, we might as well go ahead and do that. Uh, so if I was going to do uh, these guys wide, let's first change them into scalar equations so we can see it. Um, uh, so here's uh, pixel p x, pixel p y, right? Um, there's the x value, uh, and there's the y value, like so. Uh, and then if I were to do uh, a dx dy, that would just be uh, that, correct? see where we're at here. Uh, that's got to be a float conversion there. Uh, so does this. And there we go. Now we have to convert these guys to, to, uh, to that as well. So we have an inner product and we know what the inner product is, right? The inner product is just uh, each of uh, the components multiplied together, right? So it's just uh, that dx times x and the dy times y. And similarly in here, uh, we would do the exact same thing, right? And again, I'm just expanding out that inner product, dy times y, oops, dx times x, dy times y. Uh, and there's uh, everything there done in scalar. Uh, and let's just make sure it's correct. It looks pretty good. Um, uh, why is this running so fast all of a sudden? Was I can what just happened? Our speed just doubled from me doing that. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what just happened there? I am so confused by what just happened that we have just that is what we are figuring out right now. Did I accidentally compile somehow differently? What on earth did just happen? Let me see. I would really like to know uh, what just happened there. OK. Uh, so was that literally the entirety of? So that's. 178 cycles per pixel. I switched to doing just that expanded out. And we dropped to 125. All right, I'm not imagining anything, right, people? You're witnessing that this is literally the exact same code, almost in the exact same way. What is the compiler doing? Please tell me what the compiler is doing to blow 50 cycles on the same piece of code. It just full on inserted 50 cycles of nonsense, apparently. What's it doing? <clears throat> Show me the disassembly. All right, so here's this branch. <clears throat> I don't see anything particularly weird there, do you? I mean, convert Q, move SS, sub SS. I, I, I'm not, I have no idea what, what would be causing 50 cycles. of stuff there. Well, all right. I mean, I'm just going to I'm just going to do, you know, I don't know what's happening, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to copy it into the scratch buffer for now. <coughs> so there's the slow one, right? Uh, and now let's take the fast one. Maybe it optimized out something below it or something. Um, 
you know, uh, could be the case. Oh. Oh. Do you see do you guys see what happened there? It lofted this stuff outside of the loop, I think. I think it just literally folded this stuff in. Did it change the loop condition? I'm, I'm perplexed, but you can see that this code is completely different. It's doing nothing even close to what it was doing before. All right, there we go. So you can see that it's still doing the bottom part. So it's still computing U and V but it is now no longer doing any of the other work. It is not doing any of this. This stuff has gone away uh, completely. And I guess, so RBP minus 80 into XMM2. So I wonder what it's actually, what it's actually decided to compute here. I'm not sure. Move X, uh, let's see. Can I take a look at XMM2? Oh, I can't do that. I was hoping I could. I guess I can't. I wanted to view it as a float. PP R14D. That's, that's actually up converting. Convert DQ to PS. It's that's. That's converting, I believe, the integer to the, the float there. Doing the sub. So it's doing this. I think it's doing this calculation here. It's the pixel px value. So I think I could be wrong because it takes a while for me to read assembly. I'm not the best assembly guy. But it looks like what it actually did was it went ahead and moved out the pixel p to not actually have to happen, it looks like it maybe folded that in to the outer code and doesn't actually, it, and, and for, it couldn't figure out for some reason how to do that here, I guess because of the V2i was confusing it. I don't know. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of is that the V2i or the, or the inner, I suppose, was, conf was confusing it. I mean, I guess without a little bit more forensics, it's hard to know exactly what it did. We'd have to look at the whole loop and decode, decipher what everything was doing. But I guess this is just a useful lesson here to mention briefly before we even know what, what exactly the compiler did. Uh, this is kind of what, what uh, people joke about when, you know, people often say that you see programmers talk about, you know, in C++ and stuff, they're like zero cost abstractions, you know, oh, it's an inline function or I wrapped it in this class and that it's fine, doesn't cost anything. So hopefully you can see what a load of bullcrap that actually is. That is an example of literally just taking an inline function that was two multiplies in an add and another inline function that was a cast. That's it. Just that. Um, it was enough to confuse the compiler out of 50 cycles of optimization in a 179 cycle routine. Like a third of the cycles, well, a quarter of the cycles uh, of the routine were saved by simply getting rid of two inline functions that the compiler had complete knowledge of. To quote Fabian Giesen, uh, when he was complaining about something like this just recently uh, on Twitter, I think he posted, tell me again about your zero cost abstractions. And then he posted some timings that showed that some very straightforward things uh, of putting something in like an inline function or something ended up costing him huge on, on some stuff and, and blowing it out didn't. Uh, what can I say? That's just the way it goes, right? Uh, 
That's, that's pretty spectacular. Um, I don't know that we want to go through the assembly and actually figure out what it did. Um, if anyone wants to, you're welcome to do so. Uh, you've seen both the code pass now. Um, but, uh, but that's pretty amazing. So anyway.